I'm trying to figure out how to live my life based on what I want and not what I need, which is a really weird statement to say out loud as somebody who's been in survival mode for so long and also uh, makes me very aware of some of the challenges. There are internal challenges to this, external challenges to this. You might also just be wondering, what the heck are you talking about? Going after your dreams, going after my dreams. This came up last night, but the M &M, let, let's keep running, I'll tell you more. Let's start by like, defining what I mean here. When you're in survival mode, or you just live in a, in a world where you feel like you have to justify anything you want in life, anything you're going after, you're living where you need. As far as I spent most of my life. You need sleep, you need food, you need a, enough money to pay rent. You need those things to survive, and everybody understands that. And living in that place, especially if you're in survival mode, makes total sense. It's where I've spent, like I said, most of my life, all the way up to and through bankruptcy. Haha, <laughs> really fun. But there comes a moment where you have everything you need, and everything beyond that is what you want. And you can't really justify it the same way you can justify bananas. And it's more fun to say bananas anyway. We can focus on that because it's a more pleasant subject. But we're gonna continue. <laughs> External barriers are the easy ones because they're the obvious ones, right? People telling you what they think, what they believe, where they think you should fit, whether that's family, friends, co-workers, whoever. When you express to them what you want from life, what your dreams are, and they subtly or not so subtly put those down, yeah, you all know what that's like, and it's no fun. The internal ones can actually be influenced by those external ones. The internal ones are either your fears, your lack of belief, your lack of self-worth, the things that make you think like, I don't deserve what I want, I barely even deserve what I need which is actually a very millennial mantra when you think about it too. The reason that I say that those are interrelated is because a lot of times the voices in our heads that tell us we're not worthy of things or all sorts of negativity about ourselves come from those external voices often in our childhood, which is a good segue into the fact that I forgot I have therapy at noon just five minutes from now, that's why we're here. And then we're gonna get lunch with Sam. I'm gonna go talk about the voices in my own head, I guess. Roughly an hour later. <laughs> I think there's an actual contradiction here between the distinction between external and internal forces. The reality is I think that inside of us, hopefully we have a belief in ourselves, a belief in what we can accomplish, where we can go, and what we can do. And a lot of the disbelief actually comes from the outside. Like we're not born into the world thinking like, I can't do anything. That gets beaten into us. So in reality, a lot of the internal resistance to going after what we want is ultimately the result of a lot of external resistance in growing up and later in life and also probably coming into contact with reality because life is hard and building anything or pursuing anything of value in life is a huge challenge. And who else is gonna tell you not to go after what you want or ask you to justify yourself in going after anything more than you need than somebody that wants to put you down and put you in your place? And it's probably somebody else, but it might have become yourself. The overlap with therapy today, actually, and part of the reason that I went into therapy in the first place, if you remember my story about my former French girlfriend telling me she hoped I learned to love myself, is that my great task right now, the thing I need to learn most, is to love myself. Something I've been working on for a long time, but it's the first time that I've ever walked out of therapy realizing like, oh, that's my job. Like, the main thing I need to do right now is figure out how to love myself, and going after what I want is absolutely a part of that. The real sign of growth here is that this is the first time I've ever had the thought of like needing to learn to love myself and felt like I'm up to that challenge. And in fact, it's kind of a relief because that's exactly what I need to do. And I really want to. All right, let me give you an example that like, I think is an easy one to grasp. I need a place to live, but I want a place that's large enough that I could host, that when my dad comes to town, he's got a place to sleep, that when friends come through town, they have a place to sleep, that I could have parties, that I could cook for people, that would creatively inspire me. 
And then Cooper would have fun running around in our apartment instead of having like, he has literally no space in my current apartment. I can't argue for needing a large apartment in Paris. In fact, it would be very expensive and questionable in a purely financial sense, right? But you can understand why I want it. And the reality is, this is what I'm really working on right now. I don't have to justify wanting that. I can just want it. In the same way that no is a full sentence, wanting what you want is okay. I'm talking to myself right now, wanting what you want is okay. You can want and let that be enough. So I want my big apartment. I want it to be somewhere central near my friends and everything that I love about Paris with lots of natural light, a little bit of space to be creative, make stuff, play with my dog and host. I wanna have people over again. I really, really miss having people over. The other reason that this came to mind in particular though is what I want to do with my life, which is make my stories into movies, into film, into TV, whatever it is, I wanna bring them to life. I also wanna, I mean, I wanna finish writing the books that I have in my head. I'm not exactly sure where the line gets drawn between what stays a book, what becomes a movie, whatever. But the thing is, I've never wanted to make movies. It's not what I wanna do. I wanna make my movies. Like I have stories in my head that I wanna get out. And it's tricky because you can make an argument that no one needs stories, no one needs movies, no one needs art. I know that many of us would argue that that's the, not the case. I think we do need good stories and we do need to connect to the perspectives of others, so on and so forth. But the fact that I want to do that with my life is something that I've run into some friction with over the course of time. And there are a lot of people that look at it and are like, well, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be nice if we could all do those things? But why don't you go back to creating the widgets that you're supposed to be creating for society's benefit? I get it. but in being kind to myself, in loving myself, and in trying to give what I have to offer to the world in reality, I should be doing everything I can to get back to doing it, what it is that I want, what I believe I've been made to do, even if that just happens to be something as silly and frivolous as telling funny stories. <laughs> funny fantasy stories. And as I said in yesterday's video about trying to buy back more time to spend on my writing again and on that fiction that I've dedicated a decade of my life to in the past, if you're not familiar, I've written a bunch of books, then I have to be unafraid to go after what it is I want. And I've been operating in fear for a very long time and that needs to stop. Thanks to today's patron producer, Hugh Williamson, and all my patrons for believing in me often, I think, more than I've ever believed in myself. I've obviously had a huge belief in myself to do everything that I've managed to do so far in my life and to get as far as I have has required some belief in myself, but like a true deep, we're gonna get there. Thank you for believing in me. I really, it, it, means, so, it means more to me than I even realized yet fully. Thank you. It'll hit me, it'll hit me full blast one of these days for sure.